What's up guys, Ray here, trying out the GoPro thing this weekend at uh, Shane's Farm, trying out the voiceover on Peter's microphone that I temporarily stole from him, borrowing, and uh, we're just going to jump right into it here. Um, yeah, we got like 12 or 15 guys on 250B row, I don't remember, but it was a ton. Um, yeah. So we're off, and you see I clip Malcolm Smith's front wheel there, the kid on the YZ, and this is, uh, really, this has been dancing in front of me on the Husqvarna, and uh, I slide around him on the left side, and I come right up on Tyler. Tyler's, like, probably the most fashionable man in this class, riding behind him. I try to take this line on him, and then, oh my goodness, Aiden Marshall, cool sniper, the man slides in through, through the left side, just coming out the bushes. Honestly scared me a little bit. I don't, I looked for that line every lap, could never find it. So I think he just like teleported through the trees. So getting passed by Aiden and Tyler, probably the two biggest heavy hitters in the class, not pumped about it. You know, I'm in the back, it's gonna be a long race, it's hot. Um, but the trail is awesome and has lots of single track, which I really enjoy. But see, Aiden's my buddy here, so kicks his leg out, waves me by, but then I miss the turn. You hear him yelling at me, telling me to come on. So yeah, you see these epic berms just getting pitted, brop, slamming into them. So yeah, we're just rolling behind Tyler here. He takes the inside, I take the outside. This uh, this bumps are real slick, couldn't get much drive. Uh, just really just feeling out the trail right now. Oh my goodness, see Tyler, he just pits Jake, just stuffs him in the turn right there. This is Jake Lassard ahead of us on the KTM 125. Jake's uh, 13, I think. He's first year on the big bike. He's looking better every race. Um, fellow member of the Sumter Enduro Riders. Uh, yeah, so he's been getting better. He's ripping right now. You hear his bike just totally wicked. But Jake's my buddy too, so yeah, he just lets me by. I don't know, I want to put a fight up with these guys, but they won't let me, so fly around the outside. You know, boot scooting around. Now I've got my eyes set on Tyler, really trying to pass Tyler early on and check out away from him because um, He's been running me deep on the last two races. Um, been making me push real hard. So I don't know, I think we're in fourth or fifth or something. Me and Tyler going around. I'm trying not to get arm pump, just riding kind of loose. Just following these guys, waiting for him to slip up so I can jump up the inside or something. You see Tyler just trying to find lines. He's ready to go. He is. He is ready to check out, get away from me. He knows I'm right behind him. He roosts me pretty good here, so yeah. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit and let the video play and then I'll jump back in. Oh yeah, so right here I take this, uh, I tried to cut the corner off, take a hotline, but there were some tree branches and bushes in my way didn't work out.
So we're coming up on Tyler right here, and he tries to cut the corner off, but there is a stream there. and not cut that corner off. And Tyler realized that quickly, but not quick enough. I jump right in front of him, and I am pumped. I am ready to get away from him. And now I'm behind a rider from one of the roads ahead of me. I believe this is he'd be from the Masters A class. Oh, the B class starts behind all the, the A classes. He lets me by, you know, like a good, good sir does. So I'm, you know, I'm in front of Tyler now, and I'm ready to go, ready to check out. Um, still got Malcolm Smith in front of me, and ahead of him is uh, JT Wright on the Honda. You see Malcolm using those legs, standing up, saving energy. I am currently sitting down. I do a lot of sitting down when I'm following people. I kind of forget how to ride, and I'm just trying to find lines. Oh, and here we have Carson and Tuma jumping in the action. He, uh, I don't know, he let JT by for some reason. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he fell over and was picking his bike up or stalled it or something. I know he was having problems with his bike, said it felt weird. And later in the race, he ended up like smashing his slave cylinder on his clutch, busting it wide open or something. I don't know. So yeah, I see he gets a little squirrely right there, Malcolm runs him down. Yeah, and he also, yeah, he said his front end felt goofy, I'm not sure. Maybe he had like 40 PSI in his tires and forgot to air him down. And uh, there was a line to the right there, and I and I remembered it, but I missed it. I, I uh, e-biked the track the morning of on the Anderson's e-bike, they let me borrow it. Shout out to Anderson's team e pair racing. My, my family, my boys. So yeah, I e-biked the track so I could get all these lines because I know this track can develop a lot of hot lines. So we're jumping through right here and I'm ready to go. I am tired of waiting around. So I screwed around the outside of Malcolm, wide open, you know. On a 125, really the only way you can ride it. So following Carson here, looking for a way around him, but there's not too many places to pass because I'm still, you know, feeling my arms out, feeling the bike, trying to get a flow going. So I believe right now I'm sitting in fourth. Oh, we got Carson ahead in third, and then JT in second on Honda. And uh, Russell Anderson, my boy, he is uh, leading the pack right now. He's way ahead. He just he got around Carson and checked out. We'll take an inside line, shoot up the inside of Carson, giving him the business. You know, I'm ready to go. Trying to take these lines on JT, just doing whatever I can to find a way around. I go to this outside right here, poor decision. It was super chopped out and icy from pine straw. And it was super sketch and uh, it didn't work out. So I'm still trying to find some lines. And yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to breathe, not get too pumped up, not uh, overheat, not exert too much energy because it's a two hour race. You know. It's a long game, not, it's not a sprint. But it is important to push pretty hard on these opening laps. And that's what I'm trying to do so I can get away from Aiden and Tyler because, like I said, they've been running really good lately. When we come into this section of the track, it's pretty fast, and I know I do, I do good in here, and this is part of the track where I excel, is in these fast, flowy sections where I can really let the 125 sink. And um, so yeah, I'm really trying to find a way around JTC. I take this inside on him, right? But I can't make it done. Can't get it done, sorry. Can't make it happen. He roosts crap out of me, um, you know, blowing dirt all over me looking back. He's, you know, I don't think, I don't think he can hear the 125 too well riding on that, that big four banger.
there it is again, just roosting me. I can't, can't catch a break. But thankfully it was dry mulch dirt, so it wasn't sticking to my goggles or the GoPro lens. Able to just see through it, hold my breath for a second, so I don't swallow any of it. So at this point, I'm getting pretty ants antsy. I want to pass him, you know. I know this trail. I know I am holding back a lot of speed riding behind him, and I'm ready to go. So you see my ge you see me. I get on the gas pretty hard, shift up from uh, second to third, and then I dive right here on the inside. And it was actually pretty sketchy. It was hard to tell, but my rear wheel kicked way out, sliding into him, almost hitting him but I made the pass happen. And so we jump up ahead about four minutes, I believe. And we're going around the duck pond, super fast section, you know. Um, I was holding back here a little bit because there's like some holes in here and I don't want to die, you know, I'm trying to survive this race. I don't like falling. And so you see, we'll catch up here, Russ Anderson, my guy, the leader of the 250B pack. And then these, uh, this guy on the Cowie, I believe this is uh, Mike Hampton. Um, and so we're going along here. I'm behind Mike. He starts on the row ahead of us um, in Masters A. So we're entering the single track area and I know this trail from racing previous years and it has a really nice flow to it. And, and I, I didn't mention it yet, but the dirt today was glorious, awesome. Shaped up perfectly, this trail was awesome. Van Searle and Timmy Luckadoo did a great job. You know, they could have ran the same trail they ran last year, but they decided not to. And um, they gave us a great course to race on. And um, any of the 250B riders would agree with me that Mike Hampton and Mitchell Hampton, his brother, are not easy to pass. But thankfully, I get an inside line on him. And you might hear Tyler on the KTM 150. He's right behind me. He's ready to go, revving it up. And this is actually Tyler's dad, Phil. He pulls off because um, he knows me and Tyler are ready to go. Take this outside line. Get... Uh, square up on Russ, get closer to him. And uh, coming up is the creek jump. And I knew about it, but I blew the turn. So, but I know it's faster. So I turn around, pop the clutch on the cement and barely get it over. Super sketch, but made the pass happen. I'm now ahead of Russ. And that other guy, he was stuck behind. And now I get around this dude and we're up onto the power lines, little floater jumps. Yep, we're sending it big. Yep, so coming into scoring here, end of lap one. End of lap one, and I'm going to cut to the start of lap three, which is uh, not my best lap, but a pretty good lap. And I'm just going to let this roll for you guys here. And that is it for the commentary. So you can stick around if you want, see some of the hotlines I found later in the race. Or if not, you know, just the commentary is what kept you around. That's cool, too. Um, I'll see you guys in uh, two weeks at the next North Carolina. And um, oh yeah, so I went on to place. Um, I went on to place first in 250B. I won by five minutes over Aiden Marshall, and Tyler got third, only two seconds behind Aiden. I think he got passed right before the end. And uh, 17th overall, I believe. Um, only, only behind A and double A riders. So, pumped on that. I felt pretty good this race. And uh, hope to keep improving in my results. Peace out.
Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. 